Hey, what's up everybody? This is Crypto Coding here back with another video. In this video, you will learn about graphical user interface in short for GUI. So without further ado, let's get started. In the end of this tutorial, you'll build something that looks like this. So you have a button and if you click it, and there, 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 there you go. We, we, you have your, you have your game. So with the further ado, let's get started. You can add much more stuff to it, but we will we'll keep this video short and simple. So let's get started. So first, let's delete our scene. This is the scene we need that. So uh, we'll you you don't need to know what is this right now, but uh, in the uh, in the tutorial, I will explain what everything does. Okay, so chill. Um, so, so let, let, let's get started with a blank scene. So, um, we will first, we, if you open your scene, it should be like this. So, now let's get started. First of all, let's say we'll go to scene, new scene. We need a new scene for our GUI. We'll click on here, we'll say no to the, and we will uh, the rename our node to, uh, let's say, GUI. Now we will add a button, uh, but a button no to it. Button, button, and we'll go to here and we'll say button. Now uh, we we will go ahead in the text panel. We'll say play. Oh, before I do that, we have to first set our icon. So let's load our icon. So let's say load our icon. As you can see, it has a background there. We'll click on the flat button to make it disappear. We have our button. Now it's huge. So let, let's go down and go to the rect and we'll go to the scale and we'll change the scale to 0.5 and the x and 0.5 in the y. We, we have a button uh, ready to go. So if we now run the scene, it should open up. Uh, before you do that, you'll, you have to first save. So save it and then run. We have our scene run. Now, uh, the main scene of our game is our the main the world scene. We don't want that. What we want is uh, our GUI scene. Why? The because we need to first open up the GUI, the play options and whatever the values are. Now we'll first open that up. Then we will go ahead and go to the world scene. So you will go to the GUI here. We'll save it up. And in the button, uh, in the uh, in the click on the button in the node we have the script view we'll say uh, we'll load up our our script uh, in your case create a new you create a new script and you know how to do that so we'll go ahead and go to the node we'll click on the button down we'll click on connect connect and we'll go to button and in here as you can see we have already written out the code it's so simple so what you need to do is find your uh, folder find your folder where you had the main uh, the world the main scene you need to start up with so we'll first need to get tree then we change the scene to this so we have our thingy done so now if we run this now opens our game we don't want that do we now if you want to change this if you want to change this we'll go to pro world or world of pcn so we have this button down disconnect gui um yeah it should run
but for now let's make it make it simple. We'll go uh, the, the parts will be multiple for GUI especially. So yeah, so we'll go to label node. And with the label node we'll go to here. Come on. Bit. We'll go to the level node, we'll go to node, we'll go come over here and we'll say play. And we'll go to the custom fonts, we'll go click on here, click on this, and click on new dynamic font. We'll go to font, font data, load, and we go to the, I think, the assets folder, crackman.ttf. Settings will upgrade it to 60. 60 bit nicer. 170. There you go. We have a play button, big play button, and if you run now, we'll go to GUI.TCN and 